Hello, people of the internet. My name is Marsupial Native to Australia, who participates in fights of the melee variety, and I've got a sad tale for you all today. You all know how bad YouTube response videos can be when YouTubers respond to drama they're involved in. Instead of admitting they're wrong and giving a genuine apology, you have the sighing at the beginning of the video. Lying, deflecting and blaming other people, making excuses, you know, everything but admitting they're wrong. Well, Susie Liu has made a response video to all of the controversy she has been involved in lately. If you aren't aware of what's going on with her, I recommend you watch my previous video about her silencing her critics so you'll know. And this is easily the worst response video I have ever seen. Ever. It's really bad. Her response is called The Real Tea, which I guess is a jab at the commentary community? Of course, in line with the theme of her being unable to handle criticism, she has disabled ratings and comments. It's 24 minutes long, and no one has time for that. So we'll just take a look at the main points. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I bet you guys were expecting the typical... <sighs> we need to talk guys, we need to talk. Not really into that, but... But you just did it. Even if you didn't start the video doing it, you brought it up. Good job. So, what the heck? has been going on. I really want to clear up some things in this video. What she really means is, I want to make a hit piece against Tipster and John Swan because that's really what this video is. The lying and misinformation you're about to witness is off the charts. I wasn't going to do a video on this and I'll tell you guys why. Basically, YouTube already came out and they had a tweet, they informed the people that were affected why they took down some YouTube videos. And as far as I was concerned, like when I seen that, I was like, oh, thank God for that. Do you know what I mean? Because people were looking at me and they were like, it was you, you did all this, you did all this. And it's like, there's a lot more behind the scenes than you guys probably don't realize. No, there isn't. And it absolutely was you that flagged John Swan and Tipster's videos so they would be taken down. Are you saying that you didn't flag their videos and YouTube took them down on their own? Because that's a lie. Real quick, something happened recently while I was making this that I feel I need to mention. Susie Liu may have threatened someone to take down their videos on her. I was browsing Twitter and saw a tweet from a YouTuber named Dark Titan Enterprises. I have put up two videos on Suzy Lu. I wasn't disrespectful, all I did was discuss the situation at hand. I went and watched both videos and that's true. Today I was not only blocked by Suzy Lu, but I also received a rather threatening anonymous email. So she was blocked by Suzy, which isn't exactly an accomplishment. You could sneeze near Suzy and she would block you. What's weird is she never even tweeted at Suzy Lu, which means Suzy he must have seen her video and then blocked her. But it's the email she received right around the time she was blocked that's interesting. It's wordy, but bear with me. I recently saw your videos. I'm curious if you think making accusations like this is a joke, or if you even realize how you could get in trouble for making these false allegations. Whatever is surrounding this situation is false, and you may find yourself in the line of fire if you continue to spread lies around. YouTube is currently taking this situation very seriously, and is not afraid to defend the people who are innocent in this situation. You should consider dropping the topic before your channel finds itself in hot water. But she literally said it was her final video on the subject. Many reports have been going out against channels of all sizes and yours could be hit as well. Making your video private won't be enough. You should completely delete them from your channel if you don't want to find yourself in hot water. YouTube videos can still be reported even if they are private. Your channel is very small and you should consider your options before you decide to jump in the deep end of the pool. It can't be confirmed, but this seems like either Susie Liu or her boyfriend Stijo writing this email trying to threaten a smaller creator into deleting their video so they don't have to report it and wait, and even risk it possibly not being taken down at all. The wording sounds very similar to the way Susie Liu talks about the situation, and the fact that Susie blocked her right around this time is very suspicious. Maybe it isn't either of them, it could just be a simp fan of Susie's, but it definitely seems like it's her. Just something to keep in mind. And Anyways, moving on. Next, she talks about how people got upset with her about striking down Mark After Dark's video back in 2019. Again, watch my previous video if you want to know what that was about. Because that's what people were kicking off about. They were kicking off like, oh, you used copyright, we're not happy about this, blah, blah, blah. And not that it's any of their business, but... 
Except it literally is our business. You see, the commentary community, for the most part, is here to call things out and make people aware of scummy things YouTubers are doing. The most recent example I can think of would be the JStation situation, where people called him out for using recently deceased celebrities for views. YouTube actually took action against him for doing what he was doing. It made YouTube a less AIDS place. And you, Susie, abused copyright to take down someone's video because a small clip of yours that he used hurt your feelings. But the clip was fair use, so that's why you got called out. And now, you're abusing YouTube's community guideline systems to silence your critics. I started doing reactions to anime style content and then boom! It all kind of blew up again. People were unhappy with the style of content I was doing, which in my opinion, okay, like that's fine. It's none of your business, like the kind of content that I put out, but that's up to you. Wrong again. If you make videos online, people are allowed to say whatever they want about them. It's free speech. People say my videos are bad all the time. I get people saying I'm unfunny, I'm unoriginal, and yes, I've even had videos made on me. I don't flag them for bullying and harassment, though. Also, the real reason people criticize your content, Susie, is because it exposes you as a huge hypocrite. You make anime reaction videos of entire episodes of anime. 80% of your video, most times, is the anime playing with zero commentary, which isn't fair use and infringes on copyright, something you were so against with Mark After Dark, it really shows that you have no idea how copyright really works. So basically, the reactions, they done amazing. Like, they done the best I've ever seen. I mean, over the course of that, people were still attacking me for the content I was doing. Criticizing you, Susie. Not attacking you. Of course your reaction videos were doing good. It's not your content, it's the content of whoever owns the anime. So much of your video is just the anime, in fact, it could be a substitute for paying for it. That's bad. I don't know if it was out of jealousy, there was a lot of views that were coming into the channel. You would pull the jealousy card, Susie. If anyone criticizes you, they must be jealous. I find it funny, Susie Liu is the type of person to talk down to Mark After Dark for using a 23 second clip of her, claiming that he only used it to get himself more views because she gets views, again, huge ego, but doesn't realize that she does this. Okay then, I guess we just have to wait. Try holding daddy's hand. He'll feel the warmth of your touch and know you're here watching over him. Since I can't touch anything in your world, hold it for me too. She only gets views because of this. There was a lot of views that were coming into the channel. Yeah, I wonder why, Susie. It's kinda not your content. A couple of months ago, a creator who... I'm not gonna name who they are. How convenient you aren't naming the person. We might be able to verify what you're about to say if you did. Basically, they were getting harassed by Tipster off YouTube. It was happening on Twitter and they threatened her, and it really, really upset her. I asked Tipster about this female he supposedly harassed, and he said this to me. He has indeed criticized many female creators in the past few months. Tipster criticizes a lot of people. He doesn't harass anyone. Tweeting at someone and pointing out dumb things they've done is not harassment. And she complained to YouTube. And YouTube came to me because they were like, listen, we have had numerous complaints about this channel. This is Tipster's channel. And we want your side of all the things, all the times you have had to deal with this person. So I told them. Yet another example of Susie having a huge ego and believing that she is the YouTube police. Claiming that YouTube came to her about another YouTuber on someone else's behalf. That's not something that happens, and it makes no sense. If this girl was being harassed by Tipster, on Twitter no less, why would YouTube go to Susie Lou just because Tipster made a couple of videos about her? I smell fresh, steamy bull doo doo. I do not believe at all that YouTube went to Susie. This is just her way to deflect and say, hey, I didn't go and flag his videos for cyberbullying and harassment. YouTube took his videos down, not me. YouTube were doing an investigation into this channel because they had had numerous complaints. But when the videos came down from his channel, I had no idea that they were coming down. I got a couple of messages on my Discord that were like, oh, have you seen that they've taken three videos down? 
from tipsters and I was like what and I, I even said at the time I was like see if they've taken videos that just have my name attached to them like I'm gonna be pissed because I know how that looks you know what I mean oh I know what you mean Susie I know exactly how it looks if Tipster is really such a terrible guy who harasses people with his videos, why did only three videos that were about you go down? Almost like someone thought that would give him three strikes and he'd lose his channel, so they strategically reported three videos. Hmm. I was like, they've had numerous complaints from many other channels, but you chose- Notice how she says many other channels reported him, but for some reason YouTube only chose to take down Tipster's videos on her? Yeah, good job pointing out how little your story makes sense. Also, how would Susie know that many other channels have reported him? Tipster himself in his response video addressed that even though he supposedly harasses so many creators, he only ever gets reported on videos about Susie Lou. Let's take a look at- my flag history on my channel. In the 13 years that I have been a YouTube content creator, the only time my content has been flagged down via a community guideline strike on YouTube is Susie Lou related videos. And maybe it's because every time he done a video on me, it was pretty disgusting. You know, there was a lot of personal insults, like people have an obsession with my forehead size, like- I've watched most of Tipster's news videos on you. He literally just reports the facts and criticizes. Yes, he might have made a few jokes about your forehead. However, they are at the end of the day, just jokes. It's not like his entire video was just dedicated to insulting you and your looks. I mean, you make fun of your forehead yourself on Instagram. Oh, by the way, Susie will likely try to file a privacy complaint on this video for me showing this Instagram post. She filed one on both John Swan and Tipster's videos for showing her public Instagram. A privacy complaint can only be made by the person whose privacy is being breached, so it was undeniably Susie who reported their videos for this in a last ditch effort to get them taken down. This is a public Instagram post. This is not a violation of privacy, but go ahead and try me, Susie. I'll appeal it faster than you can say Obama carrot. Oh god, it's obvious that Susie doesn't care about being made fun of. She cares about being called out and wants to silence people. Because she flagged John Swan's video for bullying and harassment, but he didn't insult her or joke about her once. She then shows a clip of Tipster and his podcast hosts joking about iDubbbz's girlfriend's ass cheeks. It's a funny clip. They were joking around and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But Susie is trying to make Tipster look bad. Where they were literally like looking up her OnlyFans pictures and they were just tearing her apart. Diva's making fun of Anissa's lopsided ass. But yeah, she has I mean, one butt cheek me. that sags lower than the other one. <laughs> no, it almost right. looks like it is. almost looks like she got like ass cheek implants and like one popped. Wait a minute, she just used a clip of his. Does that mean that Tipster can copyright strike this video, Susie? According to you, he can. I mean, he owns the copyright to his handsome face, after all. That's devastating. Like. What kind of insecure person does that? What kind of insecure person copyright claims a video for a 23 second clip that jokes about them? I know the idea is to make Tipster look evil for joking around, but you're failing, Susie. So let me make this very clear. There's two channels I'm gonna talk about here, Tipster and John Swan, because that is the two channels where videos were taken down by YouTube. YouTube. Let me just get that into your head. YouTube. Okay, you heard it here. You can repeat a lie a million times, Susie. It's still a lie. No one is buying it. YouTube doesn't go around looking for videos to take down. They have to have videos reported to them, flagged by other people. The only way to prove that you didn't flag Tipster and John Swan's videos is to show us your flag history. YouTube tracks the people you've flagged, and you just have to screenshot your flag history, all of it, to show us that you didn't do it. Oh wait! Back in 2019 when Tipster was flagged and had a video taken down, probably by Susie, RFC After Hours had her in a stream and asked her to show them her flag history. She refused to show them all of it, of course, but what she did show was very telling. Oh, oh, no. Oh, hold on. Lots of, lots of GG reloaded, though. Yeah, lots of GG reloaded. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, wait. Look on the right-hand side. Is not, you can scroll this, down. This is not a good this look, is, Susie. 
Wait yeah, a minute. It's all the stuff it. talking about the story. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait. wait. A minute. Susie, no. Oof, oof, <laughs> oof. She reported GG Reloaded for harmful or dangerous acts. Hmm, that doesn't really make any sense. Harmful or dangerous acts entails encouraging others to do harmful or violent acts. All he did was criticize you, so nice try. And another two of his videos for hateful or abusive content. That one entails condoning violence or hatred towards people for their gender, race, sexuality, etc. That one makes no sense either. If Susie had scrolled down, obviously it would be apparent that she had flagged even more people including Tipster. History repeats itself, Susie. You claim YouTube is taking down these people's videos, but you clearly can't be trusted to tell the truth. Which begs the question, why didn't Susie Liu show her flag history in this response video to prove her innocence? Because she's lying. So Tipster had an investigation going against his channel from months ago, and I just want to make it very clear. That that investigation started because he was harassing a different creator off platform. I want to make that super, super clear. The only thing that's clear is how dishonest you are. YouTube doesn't investigate creators who supposedly harass people on Twitter. When a video is flagged for something, YouTube takes a look at that video and makes their decision. They don't go to other creators trying to get more evidence for their case for taking down a video. It doesn't work that way. Even if Tipster had an investigation on him, that doesn't explain why YouTube took down his videos on you, unless you mass flagged him, which you did. And let me tell you guys this, to all the people that are like, you have the power to take down all these videos. If I had the power to take down all of these videos, do you think that my search on YouTube would be filled with so much lies toxicity, people morphing my face, doing all of these things. If I had the power to take down all of this, why is it still there? Nice try, Susie. You may not have the power to take down videos, but you surely do have the power to flag a ton of videos that you don't like and enough pull with someone at YouTube to make sure they come down. In fact, on your Twitter before you and your boyfriend Stejo deleted all of your tweets, which is not suspicious at all, by the way, you said that you flag videos you don't like, and that you are well within your rights to use the reporting feature if you deem it appropriate. She shows that she believes she can flag whoever she wants, whenever she wants, if she doesn't like what they have to say. But yet in her response video here, she claims it was YouTube, not her. In another tweet, she says she flags videos she's unhappy with. She doesn't flag videos because they violate YouTube's rules, she flags videos she's unhappy with. That's totally not a misuse of the community guidelines reporting system. Then you have this cringe tweet where she says, This is just the beginning. What does that even mean, Susie? That you plan to continue flagging anyone who criticizes you? In this tweet, she told people to email her if any YouTuber has harassed them. Even saying, we are making changes to make YouTube a better place for creators. Like she is the one taking action. But now, in her response video, she says, Videos were taken down by YouTube. You all get my point. It's clear why she deleted all of these tweets before making this response video. Wouldn't want any contradictions to show that she's lying after all. So fine. Blame me. For everything. Even though you have zero proof of anything that people are accusing me of doing. You're so innocent, yet you didn't show your flag history in this video to prove it, which would have been so simple to do. What a shame. In regards to the other channel in question, John Swan, it came to my attention, it like the video barely had like any views or anything like that, but it came to my attention on my Discord and people were like, have you seen this video? So I had a look at the video and I was like, why? Like, that's disgusting. I know, Susie. How dare John Swan make a very well-edited masterpiece of a commentary video that calls you out for your past copyright abuse and your anime content that infringes on copyright. How dare he? How disgusting of him. Do you know what I mean? I had never spoken to this day, still never spoken to this person. How is that relevant at all? Does he have to speak with you before calling you out? And they put up a video where the entire video was basically just talking about the size of my forehead, going on about my features. You don't get to do things like that. Huh. Would you look at that? Susie is lying out of her ass again. Who would have thought that was possible? This is a pathetic display of how dishonest Susie is. Everything she just said was false, and she knows it. 
Anyone who has seen John Swan's video knows it. She's banking on the fact that her audience will blindly believe her, and she's right. But mine won't. John Swan never made fun of her forehead or her appearance in his video at all. The entire video was actually a very in-depth, well-thought-out analysis of her content and her behavior on the platform. So I sent the video to YouTube, asked them about fair use, and YouTube took it down. Wrong. Due to the Online Copyright Infringement Liability Limitation Act, also called Safe Harbor, YouTube cannot get involved in copyright disputes. The entire video was basically just talking about the size of my forehead, going on about my features. And Susie reported it for harassment because she didn't want people to hear about the things she's done. At the end of the day, people say, oh, but it was just a joke. It was about me, and I didn't think it was funny at all. Yeah, some people have made jokes about you, and you don't have to find it funny, Susie. Comedy is almost always at someone's expense. And again, you have joked about your own forehead on Instagram. So I was very vocal about that one. I says to you guys on Twitter or wherever it was, I was like, I didn't like that video. I was pretty annoyed about that video. Tough titties. It was just a video criticizing you. You're lying about him attacking you for your physical appearance. His video is back up and doing great, by the way. So you failed big time at censoring it. And this is what blows my mind is that he also came out and said, Okay, that was risky. Shouldn't have done that. And it's like, you guys, both of you, have literally admitted numerous times that you know you were in the wrong with what you did. You know that you were in the wrong. No, he didn't. He said that originally he made a satirical portion of his video analyzing the size of your forehead and posted a preview with just that part on his second channel. You flagged that and it got taken down for bullying. So he said he took that part out of his full video and removed any jokes about your forehead or anything because comedy is bad. And it, it just, it blows my mind. Like these people are so manipulative. It is crazy to me. It is so crazy. People are believing everything. They are blind little sheep. I hope the irony of what she just said speaks for itself. No need for me to say anything. People can send their audience over to me all they want to be like, you shouldn't ever report any videos. Oh, okay. So we'll just see like dodgy, dodgy videos on YouTube. But you know what? You know, bless the person that uploaded it. I know I can see up that child's skirt, but I won't report that. I won't use a feature that's on the website. No. What? Susie, what are you talking about? Skirts? What the- Obviously, if videos like that are out there, that is what you should be reporting. That's what that's for. But how does that have anything to do with you reporting criticism videos with false TOS violations? It's not a feature, Susie. You can't just use it haphazardly and report whoever you don't like. It doesn't work that way. Unless you're you, apparently. I'm not gonna sit here and take responsibility for the fact that another creator effed up. That's it in a nutshell. I'm not taking responsibility for it. At the end of the day, I can report whatever the heck I wanna report. You guys can sit there and you can mash report all my videos. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Oh my god. You're so in denial about what you're doing that it's hilarious and pathetic. Alright, I'm done. I'm only halfway through her video and I've already lost more than half of my brain cells. I think I've made my point and shown that Susie Lou is lying through her teeth and has made quite possibly the worst response video of all time. Yes worse than Leafy. This video was made to criticize Suzy Lou for her terrible response video. I've made zero jokes about her appearance, and I showed a public Instagram post. But no doubt, she'll report this video for bullying or send me a privacy complaint. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and have a good one. Big thanks to all of my Patreon sponsors and channel members. You guys are the bomb and all that good stuff. Also, you should watch some of my other videos. They're cool and good, I promise.